All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Abzan Battlement. So we have a donation deck, as you can tell here by the DD part, to play another Lumbering Battlement deck. We've played a couple Lumbering Battlement decks recently. That's this card right here. And we haven't had the most success with them, um, but we've been trying like some different color combinations. Like the last one we did was Bant. And the band color combination just didn't give us enough removal and, you know, didn't end up being good enough for us. So this time we're going to try Abzan with it. And this should work out pretty well because we know, like, how strong just the Golgari cards are. And that's what we're basically have our deck built around are the Golgari Explorer cards, which we know are really good. And we're just splashing white just a little bit uh, for the Lumbering Battlement and Militia Bugler in the main deck as well, because Bugler can hit, has a, a ton of hits, like with all these um, Explorer creatures and Chupacabras. So that's that's um, that's what we're barely splashing white for. We also have Golgari Fine Broker, which is a, a really nice card to be able to get some of our permanents back, and of course our really good permanents at the top end. Fine Finality is also amazing, so this should work out pretty well. I, I think our deck's going to be pretty good. And this is what our uh, day is going to lead off with. Let's go to. Let's get Vraska. Time to step out of the shadows. Yeah, so we got the explore version. Yep, finally we got the explore version for Battlement to try out. <laughs> Merlin from Berlin. Says this deck is awesome. Much respect. Awesome. So it is Monday. It's last week, last full week of not having War of the Spark. We'll have War of the Spark stuff next week, right? Because yeah, by Friday we should know the whole set. And. And then, uh, um, and then next week. So it's ten days. So next Thursday is whenever uh, it comes out on Arena. Hey, Clockwork John. Hi, Guido. Do you have a combo with Battlement? Is the question. And we don't have any specific combo. We just can use Battlement to make to be a very large creature that um, dang that was a bunch of lands I kind of want those lands it's just going to be a very large creature um, that whenever they kill it then we get all of our creatures with all their enter the battlefield effects back I'm not sure what my favorite card is from the new set yet you know like or, or basically <clears throat> I guess it can certainly change. Like what my what ends up being my final my favorite card from the set can certainly change. But right now, I'm pretty excited to try out Niv Mizzet. Uh, I guess Niv Mizzet Reborn. <laughs> yeah, it's a value meant card. All right, so we're just gonna keep on getting hit by this departed deck hand for a little bit. Well, I could cast Finality here and kill everything except for one of my Buglers. So I could trade Finality plus a Bugler plus a Land or Elf for these. I don't think we need to do that. Whoops. I didn't mean to attack with the Land or Elf. I accidentally hit attack all and I couldn't couldn't cancel it in time. Yeah, so Elder, while Elder Spell is very good, of course, at killing Planeswalkers, if your opponent doesn't have a Planeswalker in play, it doesn't do anything, right? So, like, it, it only kills Planeswalkers. It just does nothing else. Hmm. Oh, 
wish I wouldn't have got rid of that land war off. I wish I had finality available. Yeah, Simic with Steel Leaf is a thing. Yeah, we actually had a, a donation to play this deck that our opponent's playing uh, not too long ago. We played this one as a donation deck, actually. <laughs> hey, King Tull. Yeah, glad you're liking the Rakdos tie. Yeah, we got, got the Rakdos tie going on here. Really should not have attacked with that land or else. We are getting really punished. All right, we're just dead. That just makes that unblockable. Yep, got really punished. I needed to cast Finality before. So basically, I'd, I should just cast Finality instead of the Chupacabra earlier. Alright, so I, I play that one pretty bad. But lesson learned. Alright, so we saw Bugler miss there. And actually, Bugler is going to kind of miss a lot. And I'm bringing in these removal spells. Which probably means Bugler is going to miss more. So I'm going to cut Bugler and thinking about cutting a Find Broker. Yeah, I think we could have won that game. I, I, I did not play that game very well. First game of the day, getting warmed up. Now let's get rid of a Vivian. Yeah, actually, we don't need all these Vivians. Actually, Night of Autumn is pretty good, just being a 4-3, because it trades with... Yeah, I'll play I'll play a Night of Autumn. It trades with Steel Leaf, which is nice. Yeah, Oketra looks really good, making all those 4-4s and everything. Yeah, it's it's three mana to activate. That's that's a lot. I don't really ex expect that card to see standard play, but you know who knows. Let's get this one in play. Three mana is so much. So right now, Fine Broker is probably just getting the Branch Walker back. Hey, no, Skyrims. You should not be sorry about not being able to sub. That's okay. I'm glad you're here watching everything. What's way more important is that that is, that is, you know, a real bad deal getting injured at work and everything. Sorry to hear that. Santa Zerf, gifting out the sub to Skyrim's. Skyrim, see, now you're subbed.
So it looks like they're just trying to... Like, we win this race. Looks like they're keeping the Frilled Mystic available, but we're going to be winning this race. So we can just kind of sit back. We don't have any incentive to play anything. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Okay, well now we're in super trouble, because now I use that contempt on... Yeah, now, now we're in trouble. They already used that contempt. They got a Vivian going now. Balance comes. My thought process was then my opponent was, like, if they had another Frilled Mystic, they were going to be able to just keep their Frilled Mystic up, and then they they had a lot faster clock, so I wanted to use it while they were tapped out and everything and force them to play something on their turn, which then would then allow me to resolve things. I just didn't, I didn't think of Vivian being a play that my opponent was going to do. I didn't consider Vivian. Just considering, like, other creatures and stuff. So, yeah, if I, if I would consider them having Vivian, I would not have done that. No, Ferox and Vivian's no a, one knows the a perfectly like fine do. combination. I've played those two together a ton. It's perfectly fine. Well, I feel like I threw both of those games away. So that's a terrible feeling, especially with the donation deck. <sighs> it's not good. Okay, well, let's start over. No King Toll. Mike was talking about how Vivian was going to rotate soon. Not a black source, but I think we're going to need the land either way. It does allow us to play the land or off on turn one. All right, just going to get the Memorial to Folly in play right now. This looks like a similar deck that we just lost to. Yeah. So we'll just have Bugler block Null Hide right now. We definitely need another Black Source because I could see my opponent having a Galta that we're going to need to be able to kill.
Hope not, though. Hope that last card's not a Galta. That'd be really bad for me. Okay. Good. Well, that was a great draw. Graveyard. Perfect. All right, that worked really well. Playing the basically the same deck that we just lost to, playing against it again. Trying to get my revenge. I don't know, Bugler did good work there. Fine Broker is kind of weird. Fine Broker is awesome in the late game, but not very good early. I'm going to keep an extra Vivian in over the Fine Broker. Hey, what's up, Yud? Oh. Well, I guess they don't want to play after game one, I guess. Alright, let's find another green land. Then Jade Lights can take over. All we need to do is draw a green land, though. Not the green land, but the good turn two play. Alright, that'll work. Hero of Precinct 1, so they're going to be going wide. And we're going to be going tall, so basically having finality is awesome for us. And then we, we get to, like, Lumbering Battlement away the Jade Light Rangers also, which is which is really clutch. So, yeah, love the, the Battlement finality combo. This is a great combination. You know, like, we can play another Jade Light next turn. And then the, the turn after that, we battle men away our Jade Light Rangers, uh, right? And then, and plus maybe a Land War Elf, depending on. Um, oh, that's rude. So maybe a Land War Elf, depending on our mana, um, that we can get them back. I should not have played that forest right away, because, you know, we could. Yeah, so I could have just played the Temple Garden here. All right, so next turn we go Temple Garden plus Battleman Exile all three creatures.
and then we go finality after that. Alright, so we're going Temple Garden in here. Get rid of these creatures. Save them from finality. Understand you are in need of support. You are capable of more than you assume. I don't get my I don't get the Don't get the Wild Growth Walker yet, but we still got all these creatures on the party bus. The party bus is real big. That finality was real clutch. Just kills a creature every turn. Oh, wow. Give me this thing back. Okay, they got more blockers, so they're doing doing good with a bunch of blockers there. So I guess I just finality and end the game. Man, the party bus is so big that you can cast a finality and it's still an 8-9. This is how our deck's supposed to work. Let's get another one of those. Uh, maybe we don't need another one of those. I don't know. We'll see. Definitely want Knight of Autumns. Knight of Autumn is awesome against History Banalia. And honestly, Kaya is good against History Banalia as well. Golgari Queen, not as good against History. Doesn't seem like our like we're gonna really have too many things die. Maybe I get rid of find brokers to put in the knights. Maybe I guess I guess I'm gonna cut a relic seeker. It's just kind of expensive. And then the find brokers. Hmm. All of our cards are pretty good. I guess we're gonna get rid of one Vivian, one find broker. All right. Down, down, down. I 
I wonder how many of the cards from the new set they're going to have the 3D art on. Like, do you think they're going to have the 3D art on, like, all the cards? Um, or just, like, just, like, a select few? Yeah, Elder Spell is is looks pretty sweet. So, saying how can they justify that at, at just two mana is because if there aren't like it, all it does is kill Planeswalkers. Like there are a lot of decks that don't play Planeswalkers, or there will be a lot of situations where there won't be Planeswalkers in play. And so, like it is still really narrow. Is that all it does is kill Planeswalkers? But man, does it kill Planeswalkers efficiently? I do, I love the flavor of how you can have, like, Nicol Bolas in play and cast the Elder Spell and kill a bunch of Planeswalkers, including your own, and besides Bolas, and then, uh, and then be able to ultimate Nicol Bolas immediately and win the game after ultimating Bolas. I think that's pretty cool how you can be like, you know, you have Bolas, you cast the Elder Spell, you win the game. That's a really cool design. So I want to take, I want to take Bugler. That's the card I want to take. But our opponent could just have... History of Benalia, and then I would have wished I would have taken Night of Autumn. Oh, I'll just take the Bugler. Oh, they got the new the new Huatli? Because there's only two Planeswalkers we don't know about, so now we got Huatli. Two and a green or a white. So three mana with seven loyalty. Gosh, that's so much loyalty. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Okay. We're making this this wall deck's coming through. And then minus three gain life equal to the greatest toughness among the creatures you control. That's a good Planeswalker. I like that one. That's a good Planeswalker. So killing... Killing that over Knight of Autumn, even though Knight of Autumn is technically better at a 5-4, so that we can attack so that we can just get the attack in that turn. Oh my gosh. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this works. This works. Okay. So they can kill... They can kill both of my... my creatures, but... Yeah, that thing still dies. Good. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, you're right. Oketra would be six power double strike with the new Huali, and plus Huali's minus will gain you six life also. That's like so hard for Red to deal with, a three six and gaining six life. I'd like to find a wild growth walker. Ideally. <laughs> you think my opponent drew settle? That's why they're saying good game. Ice up, son. Thanks for resubbing there with Twitch Prime. Thanks for bringing the hype in the channel. All right, and there's a wild growth walker. That's a good one. No, I like I like how Jade Light goes through the library to find something else even more impactful than Chupacabra. Honestly. Basically, it's do we want to trade our buglers for their 2-2s, two and I did want to do that, because Amara can make a lot of creatures, and that history was going to be a 4-3 the next turn. Keep working towards like a planeswalker or a find finality or a lumbering battlement. Those are the cards we want. Oh yeah. Yeah, Game of Thrones premiere was awesome last night. A bunch of stuff that we kinda knew was gonna happen happened. But still I can't believe there's only five episodes left. Ugh. There, we finally found our find and planeswalkers and stuff, and... Not so much. So, Oslin, your question is, how do you side sideboard burn decks? Like, what what do you mean by that? Like, 
how would you sideboard with this deck against a burn deck? How do you sideboard w with burn decks? Against other decks? Yes, yes, yes. You keep saying good game. Yep, Ice Up Sun. It went through. So with burn decks, yeah, I'm trying to make a red burn that splashes black and it actually be useful. Well, you don't want to... Did they just not activate their Adanto on the on end stuff? Oh, you're welcome, Isop son. Thank you for that uh, sub again. Okay, they did activate? Okay. Uh, so yeah, with burn decks, basically you you don't want to, to change your deck up too much after sideboarding. With that kind of deck, you don't actually need to do that much sideboarding, honestly. What am I waiting for? Basically, just our opponents kind of play more stuff. Like I could, like if I, I mean, I could finality right now, but it's like, what does a finality really do for us? Alright, and now we can finality. Yeah, we'd give the bugler the plus two plus two, so we'd have the wild growth walker, the bugler, and the jade light. I was waiting for something else, and it's a good thing to wait for. Basically, if we, I would have done that a little bit ago, I would have just kind of had like these things and nothing else. And they still have like the first four going, and then if they draw something... Okay, and I'll play the land or elf.
So if... All right, so question is why don't I attack before finality? And if I do attack before finality and my opponent is watching, which it seems a little bit like how they're saying, like, good game after I drew the finality kind of thing. But if, if that's the case, they can just block with... They get to block with their deputy of detention and just kill it, and then I get the Jade Light back, and then my finality kills my Jade Light. Yeah, the green 3D art cards are for sale. You can find them... Um, whoops, go to, go to your... Like collection, there's, I guess my camera's covering it, but over here, there's a button you can hit and you can see all of the cosmetics that are available for sale and you can buy them with gems. And there are green ones you can see here, like with Wild Growth Walker and Branch Walker and Jade Light and stuff like that. You attacked with the X2s that would have died anyway. I don't know, I like so if we got to attack for four um, afterwards. I had two X2s that were gonna die, right? I don't know. I don't know. It was it was fine. Yes, Matthew. I, yeah, I mentioned that a couple, like I mentioned that in the, in the Discord channel and everything like that. But that is that is really cool. With Elder Spell Nickel Bolas, that synergy, that is really cool. All right, not not great for us here. Lots of to lots of shock lands, which means we're gonna have to be putting them into play tapped, and uh, very slow hand in general. We, you know, in two turns, <laughs> we have an answer to the, a creature with the chupacabra. Vivian can kill a frenzy. The problem is not having anything for this turn. Okay, that's good. It's just something to have for this turn is is all we needed here. Hmm. Battlement's interesting. Battlement's pretty interesting. That's a fast clock. Yeah, I saw the Huatli. I like I like the design of the that Huatli planeswalker. Hoping no frenzy. Hoping no anything else, basically. Well, that's game. Five damage there puts us down to two. Okay, getting a bunch of dresses in. Actually, I want the other Chupacabra. I don't know. That's so many fours. That is so many fours. Maybe I just need to take out Battlement. But 3-4 is a good body in this matchup. 
And they do they do kill lots of things. Um, you think cut broker? I'll keep them. I think the fine broker works pretty well with Knight of Autumn too, where we can like gain four life with an early Knight of Autumn, and then it dies to like a chain whirler or whatever, and then we can get the Knight of Autumn back to be able to destroy a frenzy. I mean, this is a mulligan. Okay, this will work. Yeah, I do, I do too. I love how flavorful that Elder Spell is. They designed that really, really well. Alright, going with Jade Light here. Looking for black mana for Chupacabra. Because want to be able to kill the Steamkin. Definitely trading with that thing. That's a good trade for us. Alright, let's get this chain roll out of here as well. You should leave before I make you disappear, people. Creatures. They vanish all the time. Kill the Vraska with it. Dang. They're gonna attack for one over there. That's still that's not damage they're doing to us. It seems fortune favors you. Ugh. I can't do that plus Kaya. Need more black mana. So if I Kaya away lava runner. I can't cast find with anything else. I can cast find and duress. Maybe that's not bad. Well, that didn't really work out. Wanted to be able to take a frenzy, for example. This just didn't work out. Just didn't get that second black mana. Really need that a lot earlier for Chupacabra. I guess if I would have. Had Kaya kill Lava Runner, would have got another turn, but what are we really doing with that other turn? This is a real frustrating league. Especially the, the first match there.
So it was not a very fast league at all. But so we went two and two. Or sorry, it was not a very. Or yeah, it was a fast league. Sorry, it was a fast league, but we still went two and two, which it wasn't bad. Um, looking at it, I don't know. I I feel like we won the twenty fifth land in this deck. There's twenty four in here. This deck really has a lot of ways to use mana, especially with the find finalities and everything. Uh, Bugler gets you more cards and everything. I feel like we could even use another land. Because we're just still stuck with stuck with too many cards in hand. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like being stuck with cards in hand. Not being able to play them. But, hey, thanks, Nerojima. Um, yeah, so... I think this is a deck that I'm probably going to be playing again. I think I'm probably going to play this deck again. Um, like tomorrow or the next day. Uh, try to retry this. Because this was a pretty quick league here. And it didn't get to do too many cool things with Battleman. We got to play it a couple of times though. Um, yeah, still we may have too many fours. Like maybe the fine brokers are, are a little too much. I'm not sure. Bugler was okay. Wasn't spectacular. Um, we missed a couple of times, but just the bodies, the two, three bodies were pretty relevant. Um, yeah. I'm sure. So there we go. Uh, Abzan, Battlement. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll probably try this again here because uh, that was such a quick league, but it's still like an hour or so. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching some Abzan Battlement, and I will see you for the next video.